Haven, <laughs> on to the air. It's your favorite voice of ecstasy. It's John St. John with the best morning after ever radio show. 30 some odd minutes of happenings, discussions, and full frontal nudity. So put your arms around your speakers. It's John St. John. I'm here. It's John St. John on the best morning after ever radio show here on slamminternetradio.com as well as Spreaker.com and soon to be on YouTube and iTunes. And uh, we are actually doing something special tonight uh, for people who just happen to tune in and hopefully uh, read our Facebook posting. I hope they saw it. Uh, we are live tonight, Wednesday, for a full two shows. And then, of course, it'll be replayed during the week, so uh, you can catch it on the podcast as well. But I hope you're listening live. I know we have a caller waiting. Uh, she's been in a reoccurring uh, guest co-host, and then she'll chime in in just a moment. Uh, and I want to introduce our in-studio guest, a special guest with his uh, band, all the way from Saturn in Russia, now Chicago, and here at the near the Portage Theater in northern Chicago. Uh, it is Sid Yiddish and his fine candy store henchman. Everybody, everybody feeling okay? We hot in here or what? Are we having fun? We're enjoying the the heat of the music. I love that heat. I love that heat. And I think we still have on the phone from uh, uh, calling in, I hope from the Wonder Lake area of the uh, suburbs of Chicago. Uh, Do we have Dr. Ruth with us? As uh, Sid called in our last show, he's already given you a nickname, so I think we're going to stick with it. I kind of like it. That's cool. That Dr. works. I, I think somebody else has that. She's pretty famous. Yeah, so we'll just go with Ruth or Ruth <laughs> Flett. But well, you know, it's... Why, don't, why don't you just call yourself Doctor Ruth Junior? <laughs> okay. <laughs> it, or just be a doctor in in Sid's mind. Is that cool? If that's what gets him hot, uh, you know. I, we I can feel it here. I can feel the the vibe already. So, and you just started coming on the air. So there you go. That's what she said. <laughs> nice. That's great. <laughs> so, uh, you know, I've got some interesting topics just to, uh, I, I like to summarize at the top of every show, and we never usually get to everything, but we'll try. Uh, we, we pretty much talk about everything trending through the social media that deals with anything relationship related, love, little sex in there. And uh, the reason is, and, and people never believe me when I say it because I kind of, I don't, of course, advertise it, but I am a former. Uh, film star of light of the independent sort, uh, and you know I've seen my share of the of the nipples and and the the vaginas and everything. So you know I, I went from that, and somehow I I just uh, I got talked into it by a girlfriend slash agent that I just I couldn't resist, and I ended up in the the whole broadcast thing. And now here I am at the wonderful studios of SlamInternetRadio dot com, dot com, and uh, we'll just see how it goes. And tonight I, I have an awesome band with me, or, or what did we say we're going to call you? Not a band, a collective? Oh, yeah, we're a club. We're a, we're a club, club sandwich. We're a club sandwich. They're the club sandwich. It's Sid Yiddish and his candy store henchmen. They've been playing some great stuff in the last uh, segment we had, last show, and uh, we're going to continue on with that. But first thing I want to uh, mention is, uh, and this is kind of a weird segue into one of the songs, but uh, there, there's something that's been trending a lot on Facebook. I'm a big Facebook fan. Just stories about people uh, having uh, special fetishes for uh, certain parts of the body, and one of them was about feet. And uh, I, I don't know. I don't know how people feel about rubbing on the feet, but I actually I'm a fan of it. I you know I, I like watching a lot of those videos where they quote unquote do the worshiping. So you know, uh, you know this song that we're going to play, it kind of relates in a way. We're talking about green animal uh, feet, I guess. In this next song, what what is the name of it? It's called Little Green Men, and it's and it's from our new album, Merry Fucking Happy, or Freilach, Stopping Freilach. That that is the uh, that's the uh, the the nicer way to say it for the uh, kids, you know, on uh, on Alatory Records. There you go. That's very sexy. And, and I like the whole thing of the green animal. I, you know, I, I is, that's probably a fantasy of not just the feet, but the whole thing of, of having sex with an alien. That would be an interesting uh, situation, I would think. I think yeah, people might exophilia. enjoy that. <laughs> There's actually a name for it. What did yeah. you say it is? Exophilia. There you go. Exophilia. Having. Oh, did, wow. did, did we sing about it in the song? Um. How did you come up with it, I guess, is a good a little, thing to, li- little backstory on the song. Uh, well, it's one of those spontaneous things when you have sex with uh, um, green aliens, I, I, I guess. 
And and you do you like playing around with their toes and their feet, or are you uh, more of a, a body man? Yeah, I'm a bit of all. I I don't know. Are they are oh. they your uh, uh, resident? Other species will say, I don't know if they're man, women, or whatever, uh, when you come from the Saturn area. They probably have both. Yeah. I yeah. would think. Well, I don't know. I've never met a green alien, but I want to hear the song about one, though. Well, it's no, they're not songs, really. They're, they're compositions. <laughs> he, he's been correcting me in the last show, too. I want to make sure I refer to you know, this, this type remi- of music. This reminds me of the time I was in... It's so uh, unique. I was in Liverpool, and uh, I took the... Uh, tour of the the beatles um uh like sites and stuff like that and i kept abbey road co- studio no not abbey road uh, no, no? It, was, it was in liverpool um oh liverpool Li- okay, abbey right. road's in london it's in london yep. uh, sorry so it's okay well so we wrote maybe this, the host should pay attention every once in a while uh, maybe i should take your show but um anyway be uh, my guest actually you are my guest well yeah 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 that's what he said <laughs> so anyway uh, we were riding the the duplicate magical mystery tour bus and uh, the host of the the tour guide kept getting everything wrong, and I was the only one on the bus who kept correcting her, because she would tell a story. And she goes, "And the rest they say is history." Wow, and 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 that made you think about you know I'm going to sing I'm going to sing a composition a musical collection about uh, green aliens. Yeah, that that's what made me think of it. it reminded oh. me of that. Oh, wow! I but love if, how you you think, it, if you think I love about if you think about if you think about it, look at the uh, Jewish alien look, mind. Look at Eaton. He's he's wearing green. He's got his green it, baby. Okay, Is, so maybe those aren't pants. Those are his real legs. Is that what you're telling me? Uh, well, I've, I, Yitten, I, fiddle. Yitten, min fiddle. That sounds like a, a well. I worship Yitten, him. Fiddle, I worship, sorry, I worship him. So uh, nice, nice. Of well, course, should, I worship all. Should of them. we play the song or yeah? Let's play. We just keep gabbing. Yeah, let's play it. Let's play it. So uh, without further ado, we have – go ahead, tell me the title This again. is uh, Little Green Men. By Sid Yiddish and his candy store henchmen, henchmen right here on the best morning after ever radio show. I think we have it. Kingpin's getting it. Just hold a moment. We should have that music like elevator music playing right now. Here it is. This first one we're going to do is called Little Green Men.
Now joining us on the two and percussion, this is W Dalmatian. Very, very tribal sounding. Kind of gets you in the mood for, I don't know, a little dancing going like, oh, I feel like I'm caveman now. I have a question for Sid Yiddish. Sid, Ruth is back with us. Here you go. Uh, hey, Dr. Ruth Jr. Now, my question. I was talking to uh, my Canadian fiancé uh, via chat, and uh, he wants to know, is this Jewish porn music? Yeah, yeah. As a matter of fact, it is. I was going to bring that up, actually. That's what he said. It kind of okay. sounds a little tribal, a little, little uh, like weird background music like we'd be having, you know, getting it on and listening to a little Sid. Yeah, it's very erotic. Have you been told that ever before? <laughs> is this the first time in your career that somebody has thought you're, uh, you know, their erotic music, turning them on, going to play it during the, the porn music, during the movie, movies? Uh, Have you heard that before? No, but uh, anything that... Uh, let's see, a certain John Knight might say. <laughs> I mean, don't you think uh, that could help the career? I mean, that's actually uh, yeah, pretty that, cool. Yeah, that'll help. I mean, if Man Cow can help us, this will help us too. Yeah, Man Cow is pretty sexual. I mean, he likes hearing this kind of stuff. Well, he's probably in the bedroom with his wife. His wife's very attractive, by the way. Um, I met his wife. Yeah, well, I haven't met her, but I'll leave it at that. I've actually done piano playing while two people were going at it, and uh, I helped them reach their climax. Awesome. That oh, is great. You were actually there? In the room? Or you yes. sent them the music? No, I was there in the room with them. Wow. Just uh, across from them. I was on the keyboard or the piano, the electric piano. And, and like. they were, uh, they were, that was the, like a, see, it's a tribal thing. Yeah, there was a mutual feedback going between the, you know, I, th- I think we, me. I think we've got a new angle for Sid Yiddish and his well, candy it's, store henchmen. We got to get you some fun, soundtrack. It's funny. I was uh, for the adult. Music. I was, I was in a room and I was working on uh, my uh, conducting gestures and there were two people going at it. Remember? Oh yeah. I no was, way. You, you told me about that the next day. I was actually, I slept right through it. Yeah. So he, see, he, but he wait slept a minute. Right through it. Not, so, I'm, I'm the one that. Whoa, whoa, whoa! You can't just breeze through that. So you're telling me that you're 
composing or you're playing your right, music. Right, I was composing. And it got somebody so excited that they decided they're just going to get it on right in That's front of right. Sid. That's right, they did. They totally did. I thought they were, but I had just sort of... Is, is this during the Sid and his henchmen, Sid Yiddish no, and his henchmen was, college this, days or uh, is this recent? This is... Probably during my salad days, I guess the henchman salad days. I guess. <laughs> I mean, I could totally see that in a dorm. That's why I said. It. Uh, or, you know, I guess this place apartment. was like a dorm. I yeah. guess, wouldn't you agree, Doctor Nothing? Uh, pretty much, very large dorm. <laughs> we got a lot of doctors around here. Doctor Nothing, Doctor Ruth Jr. I, I feel so official <laughs> here. I, I feel undereducated in the room tonight. I don't know. No, we don't we know can why. make you Doctor Saint John. I I'm Doctor Saint John. All right, I'm the doctor of. Nothing, I guess. I don't know. I was no, going to say no, Doctor, Doctor of Nothing's Love. right there. I'm Doctor, Doctor of Love. Love. I'm Doctor of Love. No, <laughs> I can't be the Love Doctor. That's already taken. Uh, I'm the Doctor of All Things Broadcast. How's that? that I'm in charge, good. man. How about Doctor St. John's Award? <laughs> <laughs> we, boy, this, I, you know, I thought this we were going to be talking about uh, more about his uh, Sid and his henchman's appearance on uh, on national TV, but we've just gotten a, a weird uh, angle going tonight. I, I kind of like it. I don't know what the audience like we're, is we're, thinking. We're, we're fishing for it, right? It's has, has anybody angle. tuned out yet? Well, t- you can tune back in eventually, but you know, I wish you wouldn't tune out because you know who knows where we're going to go with this. But uh, so wait a minute. So are you saying that uh, you want to hear them play for an adult film soundtrack, or your your fiance thinks they should be recording? Well, for I that? Uh, it put me in the mood like right away. I mean, I am extremely excited, like to the point where like my ovaries like just burst into flames, and uh, you know, I mean, like uh, flames of desire. That is not like you know destruction. So okay. Wow. Uh, yeah, well, I was speechless for a moment, but I'm back now. It's extremely arousing. <laughs> Sid, you have another song? No. <laughs> well, yeah, my, we, my, we got something to keep you up there. My special guest co-host on the phone is, uh, I think she's uh, sta- staging me there, upstaging me. She's really, uh, really good at bringing it out, you know? Yeah, she. I'm sure she. I'm sure she. See, is. I want to see a, her take it up, but we, we don't need to talk about that. No. Uh, no. Well, maybe we could. We are on uh, internet radio. You know. You we do, do have a transmitter. What? Where? What now? <laughs> are, we getting naked, are we getting naked yet? No, no, no. We're, we don't I have video going. I think the most erotic part of a woman is the ovary. Uh, it is. It, it tastes it's, good too. And it's also delicious. <laughs> Wait, is that a Jewish thing where you you get to sample? Well, we sample. You know, it's like two Jews, three opinions. <laughs> Right, let's pass around the Ben Gay. Do, do we have another song? I don't know. Yeah, I don't actually, know where we're going you know, with this. You know, I had a topic, but you guys have totally taken me in a different we've direction. Des- we've destroyed you. We've destroyed it completely. Yeah. Speaking, <laughs> speaking of destroying completely, let's uh, let's let's uh, go out with uh, one of our, our favorites. It's a henchman standard. It's a staple of the of the group. Okay. And it is called "Flight of the Satanic Danish Post Apocalyptic oh, Post Apocalyptic." Jewish hillbilly, New Yorkian, Michael Bordian, sexist squirrel. I couldn't even repeat it if I tried. So I hope everybody heard it. And here goes Sid right here on the The short version is uh, Flight of the Satanic Danish Squirrel. That's the short version. Flight of the Satanic Danish Squirrel. All right. All right. All right. Right here on the Best Morning After Ever radio show on SimonRadio.com. Add a cub. Add a cub. Well, well, hello there, Mr. Squirrel. Like that? Why are you looking at me like that, Mr. Squirrel? Why?
world? Why? Why? Because well, you're a nut! Well, 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 looks like I've only got one choice left. Guess I'm just gonna have to kill ya. I'm blown away. I just, I'm speechless on that one. That's your, one of your best songs. And you're pretty well known for that one, I think. I've seen it, I believe. Yeah, yeah. Video of it. Video, I this should is, say, not uh, live. This one is an ever changing version. Um, I think when I was in Kansas City last, this uh, version um, seemed to go with it well with the improvisers. So I think I've just kind of brought it back home. Wow. Well, we'll talk say. more with Sid Yiddish and his candy store henchmen right after this quick break on SlammerInternetRadio.com. You're listening to the best morning after ever radio show. I'm John St. John. We'll be right back. I saw Sparks last night. She That's what she said. That was a <laughs> Her favorite website. It made my jaw drop at first glance. We had the wildest time together, ordering from the erotic shop, and I'd have to say... TheSparkMaker.com lived up to its name. And now, I have plans to surprise her. I'll show her something she hasn't seen. Thank you, TheSparkMaker.com. They've been making the northwest side of Chicago scream for over 30 years. St. Pascal's Haunted House, over 15 rooms of horror, and 50 live creatures stirring about in the dark. Visit their newest room if you dare, the Butcher of the Midnight Deli. It'll make your skin crawl and make you want to run. St. Pascal's Haunted House, 6143 West Irving Park Road. Free parking, indoor waiting. Get your tickets online at scarypopcorn.com. Open every weekend in October. <laughs> Don't miss him any longer. John St. John is back to fill your ears with his goodness on the best morning after ever radio show. John? Yes, I am. I'm trying to... Uh get myself back together. I'm just getting into the groove. I'm, I'm really enjoying my uh, two shows, two half-hour shows with Sid Yiddish and his candy store henchman. Uh, it's been a great time. Very, very eclectic, but just really cool music. I, or as you call it, a compilation of... It's, it's improvising music. Improvising music, okay. And, and, and let me ask you something. The name. You talked about a reference to Attica, and you also talk about the henchmen. Where did that all come from? Well, the candy store henchmen uh, came from my tour in Denmark from spring 2010. Uh, the um, uh, Safari Freak Show Adventure, which I had, was the name of an album I'd done with a punk band, Danish punk band called Clean Boys. And uh, candy store came from, the candy store came from, a, a, it was like a crack house in um, Copenhagen. And oh. the actually the original name of the the band was uh, uh, Sid Yiddish and his Crack House Minions. I like that and, name. What uh, made you change it? Well, uh, just just didn't like it, and so uh, Candy Store, and then Henchman actually came from uh, a good friend of mine uh, out in Oregon. Uh, she came up with Henchman, Angela Davis, uh, who uh, came up with the word Henchman because she knew I was looking for a word, so she popped it into my head and. You, you talk about Danish. Have you have you been in in uh, Holland and and you know only Dan Amsterdam only, only only Denmark only Denmark Denmark okay okay and, and fe- you sang there and that's where you're getting your inspiration I, I toured, for the name I, I toured I toured there in 2010 actually I'm going back uh, 
this uh, December I'm going back for about five weeks. Um, I've got some tour dates and some uh, gigs and some workshops and stuff like that. Do you take the henchmen with you, or is uh, it all Sid? No, it's all Sid at this point. I okay. don't think I could. St- I I could probably stuff. Uh, 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 maybe one, one somebody in the bag. Well, maybe he can think. get in the, no, in the no, I think, garment uh, bag. Maybe let me think. Well, no, I, <laughs> I think I think uh, Chad would fit in my uh, in my body bag. <laughs> <laughs> and I definitely know that if I uh, folded eat meat and fetal in half, he'd get in. And uh, let me think, Doctor Nothing. I think if I put him in my uh, laptop case, uh, he'd get in. <laughs> I do have hey. a way to vaporize into nothing and just bounce back into something again. Hey, Ruth, uh, are you going to go out and buy their albums or what? You said you were getting you know turned what? on. I know what I'm getting everyone on my list for Christmas. Uh, I was actually going to ask, are, there, are you guys on iTunes, Sid Yiddish on iTunes? or uh, um, where, where can well, we find you guys? Well, not necessarily, but um, we are on uh, – would, would that be Kanaki? Um? Kunaki. Yeah. Kunaki. K- Kunaki? Kunaki. If you Google Kunaki. It's so, a <coughs> K-U-N-A-K-I. Yeah, Kanaki, yeah. and that is a like kind of similar to YouTube, uh, not YouTube, but well, maybe YouTube no, it's or like a, iTunes. It's a CD. It's like a yeah. It's a, they make manufactured CDs. That if you Google that and uh, that particular album, uh, that you'll find that it's like ten bucks. I think. Um, that's What's the title of the album again? It is called "Merry Fucking Happy" or "Freilach Stopping Freilach." And then I think our other CD, "Leather Strawberries," is also on there. Yes, it is. Married, fucking happy, and leather strawberries, and that is that's amazing. I mean, I I love uh, abstract artwork, and this is abstract music. I really totally. Do love that. 